Hey guys, how's it going? And welcome back to another Monday Motivation. Today, we're gonna to be talking about time. Cause it seems like nobody has any time to do anything. So let's talk about that. Me included, all right? So, all right, let's see if we can uh, get this thing on the show on the road. I got a huge, look at this, way too much, way too much. Fucking terrible. All right, let's see if I can make it home without having any kind of incidents any horrible incidents all right it's all about time it's all about timing right it's all about time all right so we're on our way home from another shopping uh, spree again you know why i carry my bags you know so i can only buy as much as i can fill my bags with and it doesn't always work out but it is what it is what are we gonna do so man the AC in there is so freaking cold. Oh, wrong way. All right, hold on. Let me let me make sure I'm I'm good to go. Oh man, I got this extra tight up in here. That's what she said. Okay. So it's all about time. Why are we talking about time today? Well, why the fuck not? You know, it seems to be, you know, a major major excuse that all of us use, me included for not getting shit done, which is I don't have enough time. There's not enough time. What time? Time. It's all about fuck. I mean, come on, enough. You know, I get it, I get it. You know, a lot of, I mean, I, I myself, I myself, you know, encounter this uh, time situation problem all the freaking time as well. I'm not here denying that um, it's, it's not like a major, concern a major obstacle to you know getting to where you need to go to what you want to do and all that stuff but you see that's the thing it's either you use it as an excuse or you actually you know um use it in order to empower you know your your mission to get to where you need to get to so you know again for example you know we, anyone can easily just say it's like oh i don't have enough time and then, you know, just start um, rattling off on their schedule of how busy they are and as to why they can't get anything done. I get it, you know what I mean? It's very easy for just about anyone out there to have a schedule so fucking uh, uh, jam-packed with stuff that you don't have enough time to do anything. I, 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 I get it, you know what I mean? I get it, I'm guilty of that shit as well. And, um, but that's the thing though, you know what I mean? Um, do is it is it really is that really the situation or is that just what we're you know telling ourselves or telling others or whatever in order to not really accomplish or do the things that we need to do because you know the reality is is like you know all the fucking time I, I you know um, if I haven't done something or if I'm like look yesterday was Sunday and I was just hanging out with my girlfriend you know watching movies and just hanging out you know literally that's exactly what they were doing uh oh that alarm was uh, hopefully not for me <laughs> no but anyways like i was saying you know yesterday i was just hanging out with my girlfriend and we were having a lazy lazy sunday um by the way it's gonna be a little bit of a difficult trek today because uh, my glasses broke and i had to put my old glasses on and these glasses are always falling plus i'm you know back to uh carrying a bunch of shit on my way home so you already know let's do this let's do this no excuses so yeah anyway so we were just watching a movie you know lazily just uh watching one movie after another um laying in bed just you know enjoying life living life and um you know for me personally it was a little bit of a struggle at first because i was just trying to get over the fact that i wasn't doing anything and that I could be using that time to be doing other stuff. Man, it's fucking loud out here today. Um, you know, that I could be using that exact time to be, you know, working on the websites. You know, multiple websites. Working on my videos. Working on my channel. Working on a million fucking things. You know, working on my trip because I gotta get out of here so I can renew my visa. You know, there's a million things that I should be doing, that I could be doing. But that's the thing, you know what I mean? Most people, you know, you'll sit back lazily and watch your Netflix, watch your movies, you know, do all that shit. 
knowing that you have to get a lot of shit done and um you know just kind of like brush it off in the sense of like eh whatever and then when you don't get shit done you go and look back at these things and be like oh i don't have i never i don't have enough time i couldn't do xyz i couldn't do blah 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 you know all this shit and then it's just only because one you know you, you, the individuals out there that do that are literally just don't want to look into themselves look into what you know really caused them to not have any time and realize that you know you actually do have plenty of time to do that or do anything really it's all really just up to you and how you use your time so yesterday the reason i was struggling you know relaxing and enjoying my time a little bit was because i'm fully aware of my time whether it's the fact that i do have time to do things whether it's the fact that i'm wasting time or you know even though it wasn't wasting time you know you got to have quality time you got to be able to enjoy life it's it's not all about just work 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 but just being you know 100 percent fully aware that if x y and z isn't done monday isn't done tuesday if i'm behind on on you know the things that i need to do it's solely because i decided to take a break i decided to watch a movie with my girl i decided whatever if later on in retrospect all right hold on a second if later on in retrospect i see that that was a problem then we limit it but usually what happens is is that at least in my case where it's reversed you know by the time i get to to that point of uh realizing then was it worth it was it worth wasting my time a lot of times in my case it's like yes of course it was you know in my mind being a work being in my mind being a workaholic um of course anything that's not work or or anything that's not pushing me forward on my immediate agenda is a waste of fucking time but one of the part one of the things of becoming self-aware was you know realizing that everything is needed you know i can't burn myself out i can't burn my brain out i gotta like force myself to take breaks i gotta make sure that these things that i'm doing are things that i want to do and so on and so forth oh that was hilarious <laughs> that was just a cop uh see again you know this is how, how how little power they have here in comparison to the u.s you know there was a guy that just like i don't know broke some sort of traffic law and you know he was just ignoring the cop and then the cop was just like you know screaming at him you know from the side hey can you please pull over hey sir 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 excuse me sir you know <laughs> as opposed to in the u.s where they just fucking shoot your tires out shoot you to you know bur you know whatever you know make sure that you're incapacitated probably dead and then you know then they go like sir sir do you know you have a uh, broken tail light all right whatever but that's not that's not what we're talking about here right let's keep it on keep it on the subject at hand which is time so back to the whole time thing you know we got plenty of fucking time that's the thing you know what i mean like um you know at the end of this video we're gonna watch another gary v video talking about time which i'm sure you guys have already seen and if you haven't you're gonna see it and if you have you're gonna see it again because again you have 18 hours a fucking day all right and just like gary v says you know what i mean like it is because again i was i was literally thinking that to myself today in the morning as i was like looking at all the things that i had to do and all this shit and i'm like you know I, 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 when i was working nine to nine when i was doing a lot of the things that i was doing i was still able to accomplish a lot of shit so what the fuck is the excuse for the nine to fiver out there that has a lot more time than i ever did and uh you know what I mean? Again, the excuse is... The excuse is you already know what it is. You know, the fact that most people just don't want to fucking do shit. And, uh, you know, finding uh, an excuse, finding a reason not to is a lot easier than actually doing it. You know, that's what a lot of people encounter. But, you know, just the whole Gary Veeism. 18 hours. You have 18 motherfucking hours a day. What the fuck are you doing with them? Because, again, there's 24, let's just say you need 6 to sleep. Sure, you can have 8, you can have 9, you can have whatever hours you want. But if you, you're one of those people out there that wants to get shit done and are always wondering why you can't, we're going to have to break it down. You know, and remember, one of the things you got to do is work and sacrifice. So, 6 hours of sleep, come on, you're getting plenty of sleep there. Alright? You got 18 hours. Alright, like he says, let's say you're working 8 hours, um, 2 hours of commute, 1 hour to get ready. That's 11. You got five fucking hours left. What the fuck are you doing with those five hours? You feel me? 
and that goes for every one of us you know i got work i got chores i got all this shit. so i got a lot of my hours a day already pre-filled but what do i do what do you think i what do you think i shoot a lot of the you know a lot of my videos as i'm walking and talking it's because I, this is sometimes this is the only fucking time i have but what do i do instead of putting my fucking earbuds on and zoning out for a bit no i grab the fucking camera and say we're gonna fucking do an episode today and uh, not just one but a lot of times i do two per trip and what do i do with these you already know what i do and that's the thing and so that uh, that that buys me time that gives me time that allows me to accumulate things so that way when i do have a little bit more time i get to stay in studio all right put up my tripod you know um talk a little shit with lambo and uh create a proper episode but it doesn't really matter as you know how i do the episodes it's like it's all about doing the episodes and that's the thing again back to time i have no time and i got all the time in the world you know what i mean same as you guys you have all the time in the world yet you're always saying you don't have time and why because you put other things ahead ahead um, of uh, the things that you okay so there's things that you want to do ah sorry guys hold on so there's things that you want to do but you put others frivolous shit more you know you 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 give more importance to things like video games or Netflix or watching a football game or whatever the fuck than actually the thing that you want to do and that's the problem you know what I mean so it's like we have plenty of time but you know like for, for example if i had like a lot of work to do i would probably have sacrificed my sunday in order to get that work done and as much as i wanted to hang out with my girl it's all about priorities and you know it's not like i i do it all the time but i have to do something if i gotta do it i gotta do it same thing goes with with all that shit. you know a lot of a lot of you guys out there um there's a lot of work that you have to do but it's like at the end of the week you're like oh i've done so much i can't do anymore i need a break i gotta I gotta do whatever the fuck it is, you know, I gotta zone out, I'm gonna go out with the buddies and get a drink, I'm gonna go out and do this, and it's like, by you doing that, you're wasting money, you're wasting resources, you're gonna have a hangover the next day, therefore you're not gonna fucking do anything the next day, and, and it's just like, it's, it's a vicious cycle of crap that is not serving anyone well, except for the people that you're giving your money to. It's not serving you anything, it's not serving you well, but yet we do that because it's just so much that every single one of us has to do that we need to have a break. We need to this. We need, and you know what? The thing is, is that we have it too fucking good. All right? I, I don't have to have this discussion with a typical Mexican. I don't got to have this discussion with someone coming from Africa, someone coming from a lot of places that kind of suck. All right? This, all, this, this conversation is only, these Monday motivations are only for people in a first world country. And why is that? Well, it's the point that we are, you know, we get so fucking comfortable. It's a point that we get so comfortable that even the easiest thing becomes a challenge all of a sudden. And it's not, that's not how it should be, you know, at all. But that's the reality of it. That really is the reality of it. Whew. So why do I challenge myself, even though I should be challenging myself even more? And a lot of you guys get it. It's all about you know we talked about all these subjects you know challenging yourself all, whatever all of this shit today we're talking about time but that's the thing you know what i mean even time management time management is a skill that you must master that you must uh you know um you got to take seriously you know again you know I, I i am very 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 thankful that i was a chef a good majority of my life one of the things i learned about being a chef was discipline was time management was juggling a thousand things at one time and so on and so forth so you know for me when i'm doing all the things that i'm doing as difficult as it might seem to the average joe you know anyone that's lived my life or lives my life right now as a chef or as a whatever you know like he ain't doing shit he's living the dream and that's why i'm always telling you guys because i am living the dream because even though i'm fucking you know working extremely hard it's nothing in comparison to what i used to do for nothing you know in comparison because I used to work like 12 hours a day um, for just a measly paycheck you know pretty much what I'm making now for what you know and then when I would make more it's like I had to work even more and have even less of a life 
and it was just you know the vicious cycle that we're all always um encountering and it's like we, it's never um it's never enough you know because as you climb that ladder you know you want to get more stuff you want to buy more stuff you want to experience more things you want to and it's just it keeps you running on that hamster wheel forever and uh you know the way society is uh kind of built today um what it really does is that it, it, it kills the ability for even you know for anyone out there to even have any time to do the things that they love to do the things that they want to do to get outside of that you know whatever but the thing is is like this we all have the time we got plenty of fucking time that's not the question the question isn't like do i have enough time the question is you want it bad enough and that's the thing if you want it bad enough you'll go get it anthony bourdain let's go to anthony bourdain just for a quick second anthony bourdain when he was older than i am right now like in his 40s he was already pretty much done with the restaurant business it was just it's hard you know what i mean it, it, it literally takes it you know takes everything out of you and so he already knew that's not what he wanted to do for the rest of his life he was trying everything humanly possible to not be in that life anymore and um one of the things you know the thing that he en ended up doing was that after working his 12 plus hour days six days a week you know he would still come home or early in either either after work or before work he would sit in front of his computer or typewriter whatever the fuck and he would write and type a little bit you know a little bit of a, a, a chapter in his book kitchen confidential which is what made him famous and even though he was working 80 plus hours a week he still found the time to write every single fucking day all right and that's all i'm telling you guys all right you guys can all do it out there as well it's like again it's like do you want it bad enough and a lot of you guys just don't want it bad enough you know you guys just want to complain and you guys just want to you know um, continue saying woe is me but the reality is listen i sincerely doubt that there's anyone watching this out here that has has it worse than a lot of people there are a lot of people that have uh you know a lot of people that have already made it and that's the thing that's really it you know the blueprint already exists the whole um you know the whole concept of getting that shit done it, it, it can done it can be done like i said you know even even bourdain's story not only is it not unique it's the american story and there's a lot of people out there that have had it 10 times worse and have been able to make it even 10 times more of a success than he has and again <laughs> it's all about you know getting your priorities straight knowing um why you're doing what you're doing um why you know and all that shit so you know when it comes to just like the time management situation oof, man it's so hot today oof. hey guys sorry about that you already know what happened i outlasted the machine as always the heat was too much for the camera and it turned off you already know the drill you don't be surprised every time you see a beep cut towards the end it's only because it didn't last anyways i'm already home i put away the groceries since i got here um you know and i had to wait for the camera to cool down because it turned off literally a f you know right as i was getting here um but you know just to you know finish this episode come full circle and uh you know finish my thought at the end of the day guys we all have the time there's plenty of fucking time it's just depending on what you want to do and look guys at the end of the day it's it's um it's all about patience as well because you know some you know your dream or your whatever situation you know whatever it is that you want to accomplish or get done you know might take 10 15 20 25 years and again you know you hear this all the time it's all about the journey as well that's all it's it's a lot of these things so we got the time even if you're starting at 18 you got the time if you're starting at 65 you got the time in fact all you do is have time think about it okay you got plenty of fucking time so what would you rather be doing you know out there in retirement land you know um slowly dying away uh, with nothing to do except you know fill your brain with even more um rem remembrance of uh, all the regret that you have or you can actually just fucking you know live the best days of your life by doing whatever the fuck it is you want to do and that goes for any age whether you're 18 25 37 65 
48, 59, 69, <laughs> whatever. There's just no excuses, and there's plenty of fucking time, all right? And uh, even if, um, let's just say that you end up, uh, you know, doing what you love, and you never uh, got to the, the top, but you literally died doing what you love, you know, meaning that, you know, um, let's say you're, you know, you love writing and you're writing away and poof, you pass out, die that, that moment as you're doing that. Listen, you died doing what you love. Wouldn't it be a lot worse if you're at your fucking uh, bullshit office job being a telemarketer and, uh, you know, you're taking a dump and that dump was so fucking hard and big that it probably killed you and that's how you died. Yeah, don't be that guy, all right? So, again, the only way that you can avoid being that guy is uh, make sure that you eat enough fiber, number one. And number two, <laughs> you already know what you got to do, all right? So, guys, thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for being here, as always. Lambo says hi. He's like, fuck, man, it's about time to make a Monday motivation video. I'm never around for this. So, again, guys, thank you so much for being here. Please stay awesome. Please have an amazing Monday. Please have an amazing fucking week. Please start kicking ass, all right? I want you to stop watching my videos and start doing things, okay? Seriously, that's what I want you to do. And he, hey, listen, if, if I watch Gary Vee still all the time. I'm not telling you, you know, that you don't need no motivation. You don't need a kick in the ass. We all do, but that's not the point. The point is, is for you to stop thinking about it and just start doing it, and that there is plenty of time, okay? It's just whether or not you wanna give up your Netflix, your video game, your fish, whatever the fuck it is that you do that you know you can, all right? All you gotta do is self audit yourself, okay? Once you self audit yourself, trust me, the time, man, you're gonna see how much fucking time you actually do have, all right? All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to please like, please subscribe, please share, please hit that bell icon. Please visit me on, you know, my website. Give a shout out, I wanna give a shout out to all my patrons, shout out to every single one of you guys, all my supporters. You know, check out my website, check me out on Discord, check me out on Instagram, check out the sponsor I got at the end of the video, and uh, that's it. Last but not least, don't forget to stay awesome. All right, love you guys, and peace out. I'm out. You can live on six hours sleep, so you have 18 hours. You have 18 goddamn hours. I want to know what you're doing with your 18 hours, because you can work your nine to five, and that's nine, and you can travel for an hour here and there. Respect. Nice little solid commute. Oh, you want to be a family man? Mazel tov. You can spend two hours with your kids. What do you do with those other five hours? You're watching House of Fucking Hearts. You're playing Madden. You're relaxing from the other intense ten. Gary, I already spent 11 hours. Well, great. Then don't complain or want more. Respect that by getting rest and this and that, you were giving up opportunity to go into a new world. You want the audacity to have a 1% life. Let's, let's call it what it is. You want to live as well as the one to two percent in the world. It's not very complicated, the math is very wrong. Like, you, if you want to have one of the best lives in the world, which is you live on your terms, you have to pay your dues to get there. And you have to be lucky enough to figure out that you had talent in the thing that you actually want to do. Because you can work 24 hours a day, and if you stink at golf, or you're not a good content producer, or your logos look like the shit I would make, then you're gonna lose. So that's what you gotta do. Hey guys, guess what? Me and Lambo are still here, we haven't left yet. You know why we're here? Because I want to tell you all about this new store that I just opened up. Yeah, that's right. It's our new sponsor as well. Let me tell you a little bit more about it. So, as you guys can see, this is the store. I just opened up the store, I don't know, about a week ago. And um, I'm going to be selling all my merch and all of our stuff here, whether it's Lambo stickers, whether it's, you know, mugs, t-shirts, jackets, you name it. We got all kinds of stuff that you guys can buy and, um, help support the show now you get to have your very own shirt or your very own lambo sticker and if you guys want any special request on things for me to put in the store then please by all means let me know and uh we'll get our graphic artist you know on top of it yeah that means you gotta work lambo all right guys thank you so much love you guys and i'll see you guys manana